It's kind of like mosquito madness here. I mean, there's just so many. So um, we are gonna pack up as quick as we can and try to find some coffee in town and get out of these woods. There's too many of them. Because like I'm on that planet from like Starship Troopers, it's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to No Tears Frontiers. In this series, we travel all over the world on our KTM 1190 motorcycle. We've been all throughout the Americas, through North, Central, South America, and halfway up through Africa. And now we are going to the northernmost point in Alaska. Dun, 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 Prudhoe Bay. So thanks for joining along with us, and uh, we hope you, you enjoy our little tales. In the last episode, we've been traveling through the back country of British Columbia. What a beautiful area of the world. It's just stunning with the mountains and the scenery. We were tired from the day. It had been a long day. We'd seen lots of amazing things. And we pulled up to a lovely campground called Dugan Lake Campground. Yeah. And just like its namesake, it was right along the lake. It looked perfect. Uh, let's see if we want Ready? to stay here. take very long before we realized that it was fully infested with mosquitoes. <laughs> I think this campsite is really nice. Um, there are quite a few mosquitoes so I'm keeping my motorcycle stuff on for now. So I'm gonna set up camp right now and then we'll start cooking dinner. You know, and we've heard about mosquitoes and how bad they are, you know, but like it does, it just doesn't kick in until you're being bitten and drained and, you know, your, yeah. your life source is being sucked out of you. You know, like, mm -hmm. oh, the mosquitoes are really bad. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, sure. But then it's just, you know, it's like. <laughs> we're getting eaten alive. Yeah, the mosquitoes here are so bad. Thank goodness Tim made a fire, so. The smoke here is helping a little bit. With the mosquitoes, we're still getting eaten a lot. It's too hot to keep our motorcycle gear on. Right! You can't eat, you can't do it. You can just get in your tent. There are mosquitoes everywhere. We'd heard that the mosquitoes were really bad in Canada and Alaska, and so we were expecting it, but I kept reminding myself that, hey, at least it's not malaria that I have to worry about. Yeah. At least it's not dengue fever. But it's, you know, a death by a thousand needles. That's the thing. Of death by a thousand needles with malaria. You know, like <laughs> they both suck. And I get in this very anxious state. When I'm being attacked by all of these mosquitoes, I feel, I feel like I'm being threatened. My whole body becomes very sensitive to any little touch and I kind of freak out at every little thing and I just can't be at peace. I can't just sit and be comfortable. I'm just on this hyper alert and anxious nervousness. That's me every second of my life. <laughs> what? Just, I was like, is she describing me in fine detail? <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> On top of all of that though, we had just lost our can opener. So our old can opener got lost and now we bought some cans of soup 
and realized we don't have a can opener. <laughs> but we went out and we bought soup and we we're like, oh yeah, soup is gonna be so good. Yes, <laughs> we always eat soup when camping. And then it's like, you know, it doesn't have the pole top. Like, here oh. is. 2022. <laughs> it's not rocket science, no, but no. we should have a can opener we with us. That's opener. like camping 101. <laughs> Come on, guys. Campbell's, you've got enough cash to make a little. So, yeah, I sat there with my Gerber tool, and there's what appeared to be some kind of opening device. <laughs> <laughs> so just, it was not, like deserted on an island yeah. can opener device. <laughs> yeah. Like your chicken noodle with metal shards. Oh, that's my favorite. So I'm just stabbing and cranking. It had a little <laughs> under thumb hook and then a, a snout to it. And yeah. Thought, you know, and I don't know how you're supposed to use that. <laughs> I, I pried them open enough just so that the chunks of potato could fall out of my, you know, beef stew. Really frustrating trying to do yeah. something dexterous with your fingers. <laughs> with dexterity. With dexterity. <laughs> and you're being just bitten. Attacked. You know, the amount oh. of blood lost was not, was not came back by that can of tomato soup. Yeah. There was no blood in there. There, there was no. <laughs> just, just, to be, just to be clear, I didn't have blood potato soup that night. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yeah. I'm glad you clarified that. that. The audience was, was very concerned for a moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, oh, it was terrible. So finally, we finish our dinner and we're like, let's get in the tent. I weigh less today than I did yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, the mosquitoes are pretty bad here. I think we need to up our mosquito game. Wearing our motorcycle gear works, but it's hot. So it's not always a great option. We're definitely gonna have to think of something because the mosquitoes are really bad and everything I've heard is that they're just gonna get worse from here. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to sleep. The sun hasn't set yet, but that's normal for this time of year. Wake up early, try to get some hours under our belt. I would like to try to leave early, go as far as we can, take a good rest, refuel, and then push further on because I don't want to deal with these skeeters for too long. So if we can set up mm. camp and go to sleep that would be the best otherwise we just sit in our tent and look at all the mosquitoes yeah. waiting for us to get out <laughs> there were some lovely uh sounds of loons throughout the night because we were next to this lake and apparently there were lots of loons on the lake that was really nice to listen to throughout yeah. the night We also heard like what we thought to be moose, but it's probably a mule. Cause they're like, there's yeah. some very exotic sound. And then there's like the standard like, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know if that's like the sexy mating call of a moose. And it went on for hours. And I was it did. like, moose aren't, you know, if, he, if his little love chime has not worked. <laughs> love chime. By now, I think he would have moved on. He would have hooved on. But I, I was fooled for a moment. I was like, ooh, yeah. there's loons and moose all around. Moose this is perfect. And, yeah, moose and moose. <laughs> it, was, it was nice though. But no, just loons and mosquitoes. Yes. When we woke up in the morning, the tent was just covered in the mosquitoes. And I had to make a good plan of action to get out of the tent successfully. Hi, good morning. <coughs> Whoa. Hi, good morning. We are packing up camp because there are a lot of mosquitoes out. We could make tea and coffee, but um, it's kind of like mosquito madness here. I mean, there's just so many. So, um, we are gonna pack up as quick as we can and try to find some coffee in town and get out of these woods. There's too many of them. <laughs> because I got them on that planet, 
from like Starship Troopers. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at us. We're in our full motorcycle gear. Luckily, it's a little bit cooler this morning than it was uh, yesterday evening, so I can wear this without being too uncomfortable. But oh, it's, it's yeah, they they are attacking. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's very hot trying to pack up with all of the motorcycle gear on. It's great that it's Gore-Tex waterproof and mosquito proof, but working in the sun, yeah, I think we need a better game plan. <laughs> in the night that we were going to invest in better mosquito yes. proofing and also we were going into more remote territory and the next big town was going to be one of the last big towns until Alaska. We decided that once we get to this town called Prince George we were going to do our best to not leave until we had everything we needed. Yeah. We were in such a rush this morning to get out of that campsite with all the mosquitoes that I forgot to put in my contacts. I got on the motorcycle and I'm looking around like, wow, this world is really blurry. <laughs> so we've stopped for gas and we're gonna get some coffee and maybe a little bit of breakfast and then we have a long, long day. We're just gonna try to haul it as far as we possibly can today. But I'm gonna put in my contacts before we do so. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, yes. There's a hatchet knife throwing competition on July 23rd. Let's <laughs> I think I would rock the crib tournament if it involves napping. <laughs> you would. I would. You would be I'm pro semi at pro that. at napping. <laughs> when I hit 40, that's when I when I got really good. That's when it just You call me on the midnight train. You come over when nothing's right. I wanted that little like mosquito net cool little hat halo thing, right? That you can rock. Uh huh. Uh, but I found like a whole Lady Gaga mosquito net fashion <laughs> show. And I was yes. Like, well, this is what I need. All right. Here's the new getup. And Tim's got one. This is fantastic, and I can't walk out of here with just a hat one from Marissa. <laughs> I needed the full get up too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. It's like a biohazard suit for mosquitoes. <laughs> so I got a medium and a large little fish net, not fish net, but mosquito net. That's right. Um, yeah. Outfit. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure it's going to work, but we'll we're work. desperate. <laughs> and I think we look pretty damn cute. Yum, yum, time. Oh, yum. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone walking by approves. <laughs> Another thing we did when we were in Prince George was we bought all these things from, where else? From Walmart. And we also decided, hey, since there's this McDonald's within wifi. the Walmart, yeah, they have Wi-Fi. Let's use the Wi-Fi um, since this will be one of the last opportunities for us to use Wi-Fi. Yeah. And that's exactly what we did. We stayed in there for a good mm, hour and a half hour and or a half. so. 
Costco. Yeah, I'm, we're not the biggest fans of Walmart. And no. We're not the biggest fan of McDonald's. No. And like a McDonald's <laughs> within a Walmart is like an ex inception type nightmare. Yes. For Marissa. And as you will find out in future episodes, um, that McDonald's in a Walmart was very fateful uh -oh. for us. This is true. In um, <clears throat> an interesting happened? way. <laughs> what happened in Walmart, folks? Oh what my happened? God. <laughs> what happened in Walmart? Like proposals of cousins. <laughs> <laughs> so we left Walmart and we left Prince George and all of its amenities behind us and headed through British Columbia. We were excited because we were headed towards a part of Canada that is very remote um, called the Cassiar Highway. Oh, we weren't yeah. going to reach it yet, but we were headed in that direction and very excited about that. For sure. following roads that have like a bunch of beautiful flowers lined up on them, you know, yeah. and mountains in the background. Mm -hmm. We're following our own little yellow brick road towards the, the Caspier Highway. Caspian. Cassier. Cassier. <laughs> towards the highway. <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? The cap was on. I saw some of this chalky red stuff. Yeah. And I just wanted to make sure. Engine guard right here. Or it's chain guard. Because if that erodes away, then the chain will slap up against and eat into the subframe. Yeah. Which has happened before. I'm not too sure what the red stuff is. It's all on my chain. And everybody can comment that I don't clean my chain enough, but I don't care. Diagnosing chain discoloration, always good. Can you show your crazy mosquito bite? Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Right? It's not a mosquito bite, I've just been working on my pinky muscle. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Some people got biceps and triceps, but bam, I just go mm, all day while I'm driving, just mm, mm, mm. like pop. Wow. Right? I know. Oh Flex it. That's some, that's some pinky muscle right there. It was really pretty. It, it was. was. A good ride. She called me. a campsite for the night um, that hopefully did not have so many mosquitoes. Yeah, was um, anything less than Dugan Lake would have been satisfactory, but we ended up finding a very special place that solved all of our mosquito problems. Oh yeah. Marissa goes on iOverlander and tags down some spots and then we'll whisper into my ear, you know, it's a couple options. Yeah, we yeah. pulled off the road. And I didn't quite understand the description. And then when I saw it, I'm like, is this for real? Yeah, we went on a little mini journey, a little quest, and then uh -huh. we found uh, the land of enlightenment. That'll all be in our next episode. Dun, 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 dun. So thanks for watching, folks. <laughs> Um, and again, a big thank you to all of our Patreons out there who help and support and push us forward. That's Temple right. of Moto, we love ya. Overkill Andy over at Heavy Enduro. And we're grateful to every viewer and to everybody yes. who has, has helped us with either making us smile via comments or suggestions. So thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. It means so much to us. Indeed. So if you did like the episode, please give it a good thumbs up and hit the little notification bell below. And we'll be uh, seeing you next time. Bye, everyone. Stay safe. Dexterous. Dex
Dexterity is... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>